Hi to all. My name is Ramiro Gomez Massetti, and this is the first video of my new channel, Hans Prod. Today, I bring something very interesting for all pianists, keyboard players, producers, and musical technology enthusiasts. These are the most realistic virtual instruments you can find today. The sample modeling instruments. They allow total control over the instrument expression and timbre in real time, and are often very difficult to differentiate from the real instrument. This is because they work with a new technology that has been developed by sample modeling. It is called acoustical sample modeling. In this video, I'm using two sample modeling instruments as an example, the flutes and the trumpet. There are many instruments available from samplemodeling.com, but for a time reason, I choose one instrument per each available platform. The flutes for the Swam engine, sample modeling proprietary platform, and the trumpet for the contact platform by Native Instruments, which is included with the instrument. We are going to cover the main features, and in the future, I will create additional video tutorials per each instrument family. What we will see now is how this technology has emerged and how they achieved such level of realism. Historically, there have been two main branches in virtual instruments, samplers and synthesizers. Samplers incorporate real instruments recorded in a studio, note by note, which is then programmed to reproduce these recordings when we play each key. This technology fits perfectly for instruments like the piano, that basically only requires two parameters per note the pitch, the key, and the initial velocity, how hard we press the key. Once we press a key on the piano, we cannot change the dynamics and timbre. It is a limitation of the actual instrument itself. The problem with samplers occurs when we need to play instruments that require change in the dynamics and timbre after the onset of the note played. For example, wind instruments or bowed strings, where one note can say a lot. In these cases, the samplers provide realism, but we find a lack of control. Each note we play reproduces only the expression provided by the original musician. We do not have 100% control of the instrument. On the other hand, we have synthesizers. Their sounds are artificially created, based on oscillators and mathematical calculations. These give us greater control over all parameters of the instrument, but at the expense of the realism in the sound. We have two extremes, sampling, which is realistic but static, or synthesizers, with more control but less realism. Looking to combine these technologies, Giorgio Tomasini and Peter Cietlacek, sample modeling founders, created a hybrid technology which they called acoustical sample modeling. They were based on sampling, recording the instruments note by note in a professional studio, and then creating an adaptative model based on the physical properties of the instrument. They use sophisticated technologies including proprietary harmonic alignment, the reconvolution with model resonance, artificial intelligence, and many more. The result of this work yields easy-to-play virtual instruments that respond in full dynamic range, allowing real-time articulations with expression controllers that really sound amazing. More recently, Stefano Lucato and Lele Parravaccini joined the group and created a new series of instruments, namely the woodwinds, based on the proprietary Swam engine.
briefly showing the main features of sample modeling instruments, but first I would like to clarify something very important. To make the most of these instruments, it is essential to have an expression controller. It may be an expression pedal using your foot, it may be a breath controller like the one I have here by Tech Control. Basically, it transforms your breath into MIDI information. We could also use the keyboard mode wheel. It is much more advisable to use breath controllers. They bring the human expression. Imagine that it is much harder to emulate the blowing of a flute with the foot or with the finger than directly blowing into a breath controller. The expression controller allows you to change the sound envelope in real time. The envelope is the evolution of the dynamics of the sound over time. It allows us to play dynamic articulations in real time. Now, I will show you an example using the auto flute by sample modeling. First, I will play a single note, and the changes you will hear will be made with the breath controller. Well, now let's take a tour of the main features of these instruments. The sample modeling flutes include four flutes. The C concert flute, alto flute, Bass flute, it has a lower pitched sound, and finally the piccolo, the highest pitched flute. All of these flutes can be customized for different musical styles. We can change the timbre, etc. using the interface options. The trumpet package includes seven trumpets. We have the main trumpet, a cornet, A flugel horn, a German trumpet, a piccolo trumpet. and two variations of the main trumpet. The trumpet number two, and the trumpet number three. In this case, we can also use the interface options to customize the timbre for different musical styles. We also have various types of mutes. Both packages are very complete. Dynamic range is very important in this type of instruments. From the minimum to the maximum expression, the sound will not only raise in volume, but also will be changing in timbre. There will appear harmonics and resonance, which are typical of these instruments. These changes are gradual. Now I will explore the dynamic range of the two instruments, and you will be able to see in the spectrum graph the changes in the harmonics.
The articulations are a key point for building the expressiveness of a melodic line. These instruments allow us to modify the attack, decay, sustain and release in real time. We can make, for example, a fast attack, a slow attack, a crescendo, short staccato notes, and the same with the trumpet. As you can see, the instrument responds very quickly to the expression you apply to it. We can control the vibrato in two ways. First, with the modulation wheel. I am going to blow constantly and control the vibrato with the mod wheel. We can also create vibrato by subtle variations in blowing. This requires a learning curve and practice, but once mastered, this technique yields more notes and control. We can change the vibrato speed at any time. The portamento is the transition that happens from one note to another. It is not the same play separated notes than play in a connected style. Playing in a connected style without releasing the keys between notes yields legato. Transition can be varied, as in the real instrument. The duration of the transition will be controlled by the pressure we exert in the following note. The more slowly we play the next note, the slower the transition will be. Finally, we have some special articulations or effects from the real instruments that cannot be achieved with an expression controller. What we do is assign these effects to MIDI CC controllers. In this case, I have associated the sustain pedal to the flutter tongue effect in the flute. For the trumpet, I have associated the pedal to the growl effect. Then we have some case switches to control other effects. For example, the fall down. Overblowing, which are harmonics appearing in the note played. All of these effects can be associated with different MIDI CC controllers. Sample modeling offers instruments for the contact platform by native instruments, as in the case of the brass family, only a bi-level for contact. Other instruments utilize the SWAM proprietary platform by sample modeling. Its creation arises from a technical problem that existed in some instruments that were developed for the contact platform. The important thing is that the features and sound quality of the instruments of both platforms are equally good. They mainly vary in the user interface. Both platforms are available as PST plugins, AAX and audio unit. Both Windows and Mac systems are supported and any host that support these technologies. You can visit the website samplemodeling.com to see all the instruments offered. Soon I will upload additional videos for each family of instruments. Well, I will end this video with a few example songs so you can hear these instruments in use. If you liked this video, subscribe to my channel, give me a like, comment and share. I also invite you to visit my webpage handspread.com where you can listen to the music I make. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.